If you're learning Python as a beginner and you're taking a look at for loops, you're likely going to come across the break and continue keywords. And at first glance, these can look like they're doing the same thing, but there is one key difference. And to explain this, I'm going to do a simple for loop here, which is iterating over these numbers in this list. So hitting run, we can see five, end of iteration, and so on and so forth to the end of the list. A really nice way of demonstrating the difference is to use a simple if statement in the middle of our for loop. So if in between the two print statements, I say if i happens to be bigger than 10, then in this case, we'll start with break. Let's rerun the code. And we can see that when we come to 15 here, so we've done 5, 10, 15, we first print off 15. We then say if i is greater than 10, so yeah, 15 in this case is bigger than 10, we're going to break. And the job of break is to completely exit the for loop. That's why we don't see this afterwards. We simply see 15 printed. This if statement equates to true, therefore we break and we are completely finished with our for loop. Now let's contrast this and replace break with continue to see the effect of this. And the result looks a fair bit different and it looks pretty similar to how we had it before the if statement even existed. The only difference we can see is in between the 15 and the six here. So if we trace it through for 15, we print off 15, we then say if 15 is bigger than 10, so yeah, it is, continue. The only difference this time is that when continue is hit, we stop the current iteration, therefore we don't print this, that's why we can see 15 and straight to six. It then jumps into the next item in the loop and carries on. So continue doesn't exit the entire loop. It simply says stop this for the current cycle, and then jump into the next item in the list. That's basically why we don't see this print statement fired for 15. To further prove this, let's go ahead and do if i greater than one. And in this case here, because every item in this list is bigger than one, we do continue. That means that this is never actioned for any of the items in our list. We're simply hitting this, stopping there, and then moving on to the next item and going on. So just to recap, the job of break is to kill the entire loop. The job of continue is just to stop the current iteration, come back to the top and try again for the next item in our sequence.